Hey, Scott from Aristogrub.com. Here happens to be our dining room. And as you can see before me, I have a delightful array of no better foods, or no foods as they call themselves now. Um, about uh, two weeks ago, actually two weeks ago today, I switched from my four month experiment in eating vegetarian to uh, low carb. And uh, two weeks of low carb eating and I'm now down 15 pounds. So, uh, so far so good. As compared and contrasted to four months of vegetarianism where I gained six pounds. So just, just like being on the vegetarian diet where uh, a carnivore like me was looking for things to replace meat, um, being on a low carb diet makes me want to find replacements for baked goods. I love baked goods. I love bread. I love cookies, cakes, things like that. So um, I, I went looking and discovered this uh, No Better sampler that contains four different cookies and also donuts. Where were the donuts? I had a package of donuts here a minute ago. Well, anyway, here's um, a chocolate chip donut. And I got a package of these. And these I've been eating on for the last several days. And I got to tell you, these things are super filling. Um, and... What's in them and what's not in them is, is, is important for us to know. Um, for some folks who have problems with grains and things like that, these are all grain-free. They're gluten-free, they're wheat-free, they're dairy-free, they're peanut-free, they're soy-free, which if you've ever eaten low-carb foods, usually they're really very uh, reliant upon soy. There's none of that soy taste in these. They don't have trans fats. They don't have potatoes. They don't contain rice. They don't contain uh, sesame seeds or sesame seed oil. Um, there's no GMOs. So what do they have? Well, they have a lot of protein. And as I can see from the label here, they have almond flour, coconut flour, egg whites, flax seed, and chia seeds. Chia seeds, you know, the things that we put on our chia pets. <laughs> Um, so, like I said, I've been eating these, these donuts now, and i got to tell you, they're really super filling. Um, being a couple weeks on induction, which is the, you know, the introductory part of a low-carb diet where I'm eating very, very few carbs, these have been fantastic. I've actually been able to use these as a bit of a meal replacement accidentally. I found after snacking on one of these um, about two hours before dinner time, I wasn't remotely interested in dinner. Um, they are heavy. This is not, uh, it's like a, a cake cookie. I'm sorry, not a cake cookie. I want to try to say a cake donut, but it's very, very dense. I'm going to break this open here and show you what's going on inside. Again, you can see the chocolate chips that are in here. And uh, these are fantastic. Now, I, I do warm them up in the microwave for about 30 seconds. And that helps because these get stored in the freezer because they have no preservatives. So you gotta you gotta nuke them to uh, to make them edible. I've I've eaten a bunch of these, but let me let me go ahead to prove. I watch these videos of people talking about food and they never taste it. <laughs> None of us look good eating food. Let's just face that. But if I'm gonna watch somebody talk about food. I want proof that they actually eat it. I made some coffee, which a new coffee maker, terrible coffee. <laughs> Maybe that's next. So what I have in front of me are the four cookies. And I can buy these in a box of four just like this. I picked these up on Amazon. They were $10 for four, $2.50 a piece. But look at these monstrous cookies. Uh, do I have something to compare these to? No, I don't. Did you know that U.S. currency is six inches long? So let's just take a look at this compared to a dollar bill. That puts that in at about four inches. All right. Really good size. And I would say up to a, an inch thick, maybe. Um, 25.4 millimeters to... Uh, other folks. So the four flavors I have here, I have a chocolate chocolate chip or a double chocolate chip, regular chocolate chip. One of these is lemon and I have the package beneath and this one's cinnamon. And here's the package with all the nutritional information on the back. Normally I would not have opened and nuked all of 
these, but for you and for me, because I've never tasted these, I thought I should go ahead and do that. And of course my nose is running on top of all this. I know I'm gonna like the chocolate chocolate chip. I know I'm gonna like the chocolate chip because I'm sure they're made from the same base as this chocolate chip donut. So do I save them for last? Yeah. So let's go uh, break into the cinnamon one here. And yeah, so just, just enough um, give to that texture that it's not breaking. <laughs> it smells like cinnamon bread. Let's give this one a try. That is not, it's not an overpowering cinnamon either. That's good. That's good. Now, what I noticed in the donut, it's got a little chew to it that I thought was, um, was the coconut flour. And unless they grind that coconut flour really, really thick, big chunks, I don't think it can be that. And I wonder if that's the chia or what is giving that texture, but I'm, I'm getting that here. Kind of like if you eat an Almond Joy candy bar and when you're done and you swallowed it and there's still some residual coconut in your mouth, that's exactly, that's exactly how these feel. Not a bad thing, it's just kind of odd. All right, this one is the lemon. This looks just like the cinnamon. Eh, it's a little bit lighter. I'm not even smelling this. There's the lemon. Hmm. That's really, really subtle. Um, I thought maybe that would be a very, very lemony cookie. I know a lot of folks don't like lemon cookies. That's got just a hint of lemon. That's good. All right, let's go on to the, just the uh, standard chocolate chip cookie. And this, I think, is probably going to be just like that donut. Mm-hmm. That's the same. Now I'm curious about the individual serving size here. Um, those are four ounce cookies. I wonder how heavy the donuts are and whether this, this has to be more material. And if that donut is filling for me, these cookies are absolutely going to be filling. All right, let's go for the double chocolate here. Yeah, take a look at that. I heard someone describe this as a um, like a brownie, which again, I think I'd like. Yeah, that's my favorite. Wow, that's really good. Hmm. Now, when I purchased these, I went to Amazon and um, saw that they had a number of things. They have toast. They have waffles. Um, little wafers of some sort. They have some things that you can use in, uh, to replace things like uh, corn chips to eat with dip. But having not tried any of their products, I figured I'm, I'm in for 20 bucks or $21, whatever it is. Amazon for Prime got free shipping. And um, I'm really pleased with this. I'm really pleased. But when I jumped back on Amazon tonight and saw that this variety package wasn't available. Uh, don't know why, but just so you know, it, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. The individual packages, like the double chocolate, um, that was available as a four-pack. All of these were available as a four-pack on Amazon. The donuts were available and so on. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on as far as inventory is concerned. Because when I went there initially, I went there to get the double chocolate and they didn't have the double chocolate. They had the four pack. So uh, um, I guess by virtue of the fact that this, this is all fresh product and I'm assuming it's being drop shipped by No Foods and they're out of Atlanta, I think. I think that's right. Who knows where, yeah, Atlanta, Georgia. 
Um, perhaps they're drop shipping it from there and uh, they might have inventory issues. Who knows? Well, that's it. Kind of a long video. I, I hope you got something out of this. Uh, I'll put a link down below in the, uh, the doobly-doo to link to uh, Amazon. Of course, it's an affiliate link. You don't have to click on it, but I appreciate it if you do. Visit aristagrub.com. It's really a thing, kind of. <laughs> and I appreciate you watching. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to devour this one.